let's say we have two-thirds all divided by 5. And this is exactly the same as two-thirds divided by 5. And many of you might get confused when you divide by a whole number, but that whole number is actually a fraction as well. The 5 can also be written as 5 over 1. Anytime you divide by 1, it doesn't change anything. So now in order to divide these two fractions, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 5 over 1. So the reciprocal of 5 over 1 is just 1 over 5. So now I can multiply the two numerators. 2 times 1 is just 2. And 3 times 5 is just 15. So now let's just go over one more example. So let's say we have 6 all divided by 3 over 2. This can also be written as 6 divided by 3 over 2. And once again, if you get confused by a whole number of 6, you can actually change it into a fraction. 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. So now to divide these two fractions, we just have to multiply by the reciprocal. So 6 divided by 3 over 2 is the same thing as 6 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 over 2, which is just 2 over 3. Now we can multiply these two fractions together. 6 times 2 in our numerator gives us a 12. And we have a 1 times 3 in our denominator, which just gives us 3. And of course, 12 over 3 can be reduced. Both numbers can be divided by 3 evenly. So I'm going to divide the 12 by 3. And whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. In our numerator, we have 12 over 3, which is just 4. And in our denominator, we have 3 divided by 3, which is just 1. And 4 over 1 is just 4. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.